A little trick you can do is talk to this guy and get a uh, Rotten Eclair. And you can take the Rotten Eclair to the ghost up here and, um, well, this happens. Hey, that's a Rotten Eclair you have there. Please trade it for me for this beef jerky. Let me get some free beef jerky just for one of them instead of uh, two of them downstairs. So, that's a cool little trick you can do. Good way to stock up on healing items. I should probably have more healing items for the boss that's going to be coming up, but... Oh well. Oh well, we'll see how I do. Hmm. Your whiskers have really grown out. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see if we can get a back sprite on this guy. Oh crap. It's not what we want to do. Ah. Eh. Oh well, I can go ahead and try the Siren Beetle, but this is Rock and Ghost. Go ahead and do the Siren Beetle trick. It wastes a turn, but oh well. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, but the in the interesting thing about these guys is if you get two of them in one battle, sometimes they'll start attacking each other. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We're gonna eat the yogurt, and uh, these guys can actually hit pretty hard for a regular enemy, so you might want to be careful about that. But they're not that bad. They can hit pretty hard, especially when they charge. Look at that. 30. That's, that's actually pretty powerful, but... Yeah. So there you go. Alright, let's just, uh... It was because they're still really grown out, apparently. Let's go ahead and suck down the beef jerky, and, uh... Let's keep these thing rolling. Oh, man, I'm... I hate that when I'm like trying to run, I end up like stopping really fast, and then you, you gotta hold the button to start running again. And sometimes you just don't do it right, and you keep walking, and yeah, well, that's kind of what went down there. Oh well, no, not a big deal, you know. It's just kind of like whatever. Doctor Level is now 16. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. We got one more enemy we gotta encounter before the boss, and well, we can fight this guy, I guess. Another barrel man, just sitting there. Doing nothing in particular, just sitting there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that took a whole, like, what, ten seconds? Jeez. Yeah, did these armor come alive? I don't know, but, uh... Well, if you go to the store, the doors come alive. Yeah. Pseudo door. Tickle stick works good on these guys. And, um, yeah. The funny thing about these guys is you don't have to get a back sprite on them because you automatically get it during the battle, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, it's not really a back sprite, it's more of a. J j just a different sprite, and they like to flash a creepy smile, which does nothing. Oh, a terrible odor. That's not good. Well, Duster dodged it, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, well, just like that. That's the other sprite. So, we don't have to worry about nothing, so that's pretty sweet. Alright. So we got fake doors in this place. That's nice. Let's check it out in our good old-fashioned battle memory. Let's see what we got here. Rocket Ghost hasn't noticed that its master is long gone and continues to bear its weight on its back. <laughs> yeah. And pseudo door. No matter how long it takes, this door anxiously waits for someone to open it. It's been waiting for years now. <laughs> really? That's too bad. So there you go. All right. Ah, freaking barrel man, go away. Nobody likes you, man. Well, actually, I think a lot of people do, but... Who knows? Sweet fragrance. Oh, it worked. What does it do? Asleep? What? It does sleep? Come on, now. What are you doing, barrel man? Don't put me to sleep. And then try to do it again for some reason? You know, you can't fall asleep when you're asleep. You know, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Come on, now. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, he's nothing to worry about. Ooh, what'd he drop? Nut bread, okay, that works for me. Because I can go ahead and uh, consume that. There you go. 
Didn't notice the fake door. Ah, oh, well. Whatever. Uh, you know, I was gonna talk about something, but I completely forgot. What was it? I have no idea. Seriously, I was thinking about mentioning something, but... I completely forgot what it was. I have no idea. Don't you hate when that happens? Seriously, damn. I don't know, man. Whatever. It must not have been that important, then. I can't even think of what it was. But there we go, there's the pseudo-door. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on in here. Oh! Oh, this would be the boss fight. Make sure you're healed up before you fight this guy. He's not that hard, but, uh... His furniture is shaking violently, yeah. He's not that hard, but, um... He can be if you don't have a lot of healing items, which I don't know if I have enough for this guy, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. I am Mr. Passion! The music I am playing is Family Matters Second Movement. Listen thoroughly. Okay. Listen and marvel to your heart's content. Okay. I think you have to say no to fight him, but is there anything else we can do? An old clock that runs too fast. Alrighty then. This book is shaking all by itself. <laughs> yeah. Furniture's still shaking violently, and we can't get through that door, which is where we need to go, so we're, we're gonna have to do something about this. We're gonna have to take this guy down, man. Yeah, 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 we know. Whatever. No. This is what artistic know-nothings like you get! And it's boss time. Mr. Passion, you gotta love this track. Awesome stuff. Um... Basically, uh, making him cry is a real good idea. That'll make him miss more often, and, uh, you know, scary mask and tickle stick, lowering his stats, it's a good thing. Um, yeah. But this guy can do different things. He can freaking throw chairs at you, and swing his baton, and, uh, I think s sometimes he'll get lost in the music, and basically, like, Wasting a turn, pretty much. But he can hit you pretty hard, so... Make sure you watch your HP. It's like candles flying. Okay, I, I guess he can do that, too. And sometimes he'll throw, like, everything at you. And a nice three-hit combo there. Um, sometimes he'll just throw a bunch of stuff at you at once, and it'll, like, keep hitting you. And I think he only does that, though, when he's almost dead, though. But, yeah. Madly brandish his baton. <laughs> yeah. Yes, oh, man. Come on, Duster. Get a good combo in on him. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, ten freaking hits. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, man. That's freaking amazing for me. Jeez. Like, I only needed six more, and I would have had, like, the best combo you can possibly get. I can't believe I got a ten-hit combo. How the hell did I do that? Jeez. That's crazy. Man. Starting to run out of healing items here. That's not good. Oh, here it comes. That means he's almost dead, I think. But luckily, a lot of times it'll miss, but sometimes not so much. Sometimes it'll hit a lot. Yeah, like that. Oh, God, I'm screwed. And I think I just lost. That's not cool, man. Oh, good. Well, I think I'm out of healing items now, or something. Oh, man. Well, hopefully he dies. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to redo this, which isn't really a big deal. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, well. I died! Let's try this again, shall we? This time with less fail. Less fail. I think that would re re really help if I did end up bringing out his offense. That would really... That would really make a difference, honestly. Oh, well, we get to hear this awesome track again, and all that fun stuff. And you cry, Mr. Passion, and it's not from the music, either. Is that a mouse flying? What the hell? Barely heard, though, so... Whatever. I think it's random what, what he can send flying. I mean, we've seen a chair, candles, and then a mouse. I wonder if he can send that book flying. Like a freaking... Like the freaking grandfather clock. I bet that would hurt. Jeez. It's crazy. But yeah, lowering his offense really helps in lowering the damage he does to you. Oh. 
It's really helpful if he misses more often, which he didn't seem to be doing in that last battle, but hopefully he'll miss more here. Come on, miss. That would really help out. And I'm sucking at combos now for some reason. Oh, great. Oh, he's bringing up his offense. Well, I'm just going to have to cancel that out then, aren't I? Yeah. I'm having better luck doing that this time. Last time I had a scary match, just didn't seem to want to work. and At least that's hurting less now. So that's definitely a good thing. There you go, Duster. Have some beef jerky. That <laughs> nice. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yes, keep missing. That would definitely be appreciated. Come on, miss me, you turd. Miss me. I think you should be about done, though. I would say. Come on. He's got to be about finished. Ow. Come on, miss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six hits, not bad, and we got him. If we wouldn't have died there, I probably could have gotten another ten hit combo. Maybe. Probably not, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was weird. Everything just kind of dropped. Squeak. Well, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. You felt something warm inside your heart. Whatever that means. I think it has something to do with something. Things are calm once again. Yeah, I think it's something that they, like, didn't put in this game or something. It has something to do with that. I forget, but... Whatever. Anyway, uh... Let's see what's going on now. We're all rested up and everything. Go on in here and... Whoa! Well, this is shining. It's a very delicately crafted vase here. We just get the Triforce? What the hell? We got the Noble Spittoon. Okay. There's another one of these walls that we can't seem to get through. Okay, well. Let's check it out then, shall we? Hmm. A mysterious Spittoon from Osoe Castle. Cool. Well, let's check out Mr. Passion. Let's check him out. Ghost of a musician who died before finishing his symphony. Beware of his captivating melodies. Yeah. Alrighty then. So I guess there's nothing to do but go back to Tasmanly Village and talk to Wes then. We can take a shortcut through here. There's a hole inside the fireplace. Fall down it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're back here. That was a nice little shortcut. So let's get out of here, man. Looks like it's daytime. That's cool. Looks it's time for Duster to go take a nap, then. Alright, anything new out here? Not really. Uh, hmm. Ain't Nippolite's still here? Oh, it's Old Man Wes's son. What's his name? If you're headed out, crossing the drawbridge would be faster and safer than taking this underground passage. Yes, it would. Here, I'll give you the drawbridge key. Nice. Nah, don't worry about giving it back. Just go on and take it. As long as I've got this here underground passage, that'll be enough for me. Okay, well, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I'll save time. Nipplite's key for lowering Osohe Castle's drawbridge. Cool. So let's use it, and, uh... We can go back and uh, talk to Wes. You know, see what's going on... Tasmanly Village. Now, now that it's daytime, there should be people up and about. And yeah, so there you go.